lives in a pineapple under the sea. Spongebob Squarepants! And in yellow and porous is he. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review the Spongebob episode To Save a Squirrel, requested by Automations Pictures Incorporated. So, this episode is about when Spongebob and Patrick want to tag along in Sandy's trip, and Sandy won't let Spongebob and Patrick go out with her because she's going to be going out in the wilderness where she thinks it's too dangerous for them, and Sandy doesn't think Spongebob and Patrick could survive surviving. So Spongebob and Patrick tag along with Sandy without Sandy knowing they're hiding in the truck, but then Spongebob and Patrick end up in the middle of the wild, Patrick ruins all of their supplies to survive, such as food and shelter, and they get all crazy and end up in this cave. To save a squirrel, in my opinion, is poorly done. This episode sucked. Let's just start off with the episode title. To save a squirrel. Why the fuck is this episode called To Save a Squirrel? It doesn't have anything to do with Sandy. Sandy is barely in this episode. She's only in the beginning and the end. SpongeBob and Patrick aren't saving Sandy. So why is it called that? If I am missing something, you guys could tell me as to why the episode is called that. But for me... The episode title is totally misleading. Now, I did laugh a few times, and I'll go ahead and just tell you which parts did make me laugh. The first part was actually the very beginning of the episode when Spongebob and Patrick are running away, but it was actually just a tiny little cricket. They are running and crying over a little cricket. It was stupid, but it was really funny. The second one is the cutaway with Squidward and the Spongebob and Patrick dolls, and he's trying to poke the needles at them. That was actually pretty clever to me right there. I also enjoyed the sponge cake joke, and that's really it, I believe. I did laugh at least a few times, and they were very good laughs. I also did enjoy that old man that was in the cave. He was really entertaining to me. And Spongebob and Patrick again at and Spongebob and Patrick going head to head and trying to eat each other because they're getting hungry as hell. I'll admit that was actually pretty entertaining. But the problems that this episode does have is that the structure for the storyline is poorly done. The episode when it comes to a conclusion doesn't make any sense. It gets really Oh dear god, really boring. It was boring once Spongebob and Patrick were in the wild, and it gets even more dull once they are in the cave. Yes, there's a few things for me to enjoy while they're in the cave. For the most part, I just found myself very bored. The writing isn't very well done, the pacing is very rushed actually, it feels very out of place. And then we get to the ending. So, it turns out that Sandy's trip was all just to test out Spongebob and Patrick. Even though they have been surviving out for a very long time. What she did did not make any sense. It was all stupid. And you just starved your two friends. The two of them almost ate each other because of that Sandy. What the hell? And as much as I love Sandy, Spongebob and Patrick had every right to go after her at the end. It's one of the most poorly done episodes I've seen. It's one of the most boring episodes I've ever seen. By the time the episode ended, I wanted to fall asleep because that's what this episode made me want to do for the majority of it. As well as having a fucking misleading episode title for God's sakes. To Save a Squirrel gets a 4 out of 10. <sighs> I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.